Okay, tonight we're going to check out the similarities between these three knives, the 8015, the 8010, and the new, this is actually the new Tanto 8010, and the new Engage, and to see if there's a reason to uh, not buy all three, or should you just follow my advice and get all of them? <laughs> all right, let's get into this. It's my pleasure. Okay, so this is the new Engage, the 3.5 inch. Let me wipe some of this stuff off of there. I've been using this a lot. I got this thing super sharp on my strop. That's hard to say, super sharp strop. Anyways, so check that out. Y'all have seen that. I did a video on it already. But in that video, I had repeated something I was told while I was at Blade Show, and that was that they had used kind of the 8010 as a basis for for the uh, what do you call it the the grip and everything for this they wanted to use the 8010 sort of as a vehicle to test that atlas lock and so this is kind of what they came up with is this thing brand new is this tanto brand new are we gonna open it here I think so let's check this out all right so we don't really need to look at everything here. I just want to look at the body and the weight and everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I love the 8010. You ever just start carrying other stuff or forget how much you love something? This 8010. I mean, just not. The Tanto version is awesome. You know, with that hollow grind and stuff. It's really cool. Just the 8010 itself. Oh man. The things we could do. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. The things I could do on Mulberry Street. I could go stab a big piece of meat. Me and you could go find something to eat. We'd cut it together with our 8010. Would it be a sin? Would, would you say when? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love this knife. Oh man, this thing is awesome. Look at this thing. So, initially, when you pick this up, you can't really feel the, the similarities. Oh, you can see them. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You can see how similar they are in shape. So, right through there, if it was that was it, right there, you'd be like, yeah, they're really similar. I really do like all this stuff on here. I've had a lot of people complain about it. But that's, I really like that there. I just like stuff that breaks it up and makes it interesting looking. But that doesn't take away from this at all. The, the thing is, now if you look at it this way, you can see the 8010 is much longer in the handle that way. And on the grip, the grip feels real similar. I think it's just, what are we looking at here that's making this thing really that much longer? I don't know. So from here, that looks all real similar in length. Still real similar. I just think that they, or they took this down a little bit further on the butt, I think. Let's see, let's see it on the, on the, here. Yeah, cause see this way, it doesn't look that much longer. But when you turn it over, that butt really sticks out. Look at that. Yeah. Check that out. So that way, I think it's just this back part that's sticking out a lot. Because this way, even in the hand, this has a, I mean, for being shorter, this has just as much room here on the handle. So you're looking at really similar feel as far as your the width of your fingers filling up those little cutouts that they have already, those little preconceived cutouts. Here, you know, it feels real similar. Of course, the thickness on this 8010 is just ridiculous compared to this one. So, you can see the thickness of the liners. And it's not going to matter. You're not going to kill the liners on this. There's, there's nothing you're going to humanly do that's going to be able to kill the liners on this or the, or the scales. But just as something that's filling up your hand, this definitely fills up your hand in a, in a bigger way. 
let's see. So as far as the way it feels, if you just grab it, it's going to feel the same, really similar width-wise. I mean, it's lengthwise. What did you say? Lengthwise in your hand. So if you have fat fingers, it's going to feel the same on both knives. Now the thickness this way and the way it fills up your hand is different. This is definitely, you can definitely feel the difference in thickness there. And it's obvious when you look at it this way. The length is, is much different as far as the scales, which is weird because the usable length, I don't know why, but look, you can tell, you can, you can tell, look, the usable length of this thing is not that bad. I think it tapers down more here. So maybe they, they start tapering sooner. Let's get those even though. Yeah, they just start tapering on that butt a little bit more. So, I don't know, both awesome knives. You know, if you have one, there's not a huge reason to buy the other, except for you love knives, because they're both gonna do a lot of the similar work. Now, of course, the length on the 8010 on the blade is, is a bit more, because you're getting that four inch blade so you can you can tell that you're getting more blade there on the 8010 as far as let's line it up where it all starts cutting there so but I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference especially if you want something a little smaller in hand now let's see what the weight difference is so here on the 8010 box it says can you see that so we got 7.2 ounces, and then here on the engage box it says, it does not say, <laughs> why? Oh yeah, it does, 6.6 .6 ounces. So you're looking at like half an ounce, right around half an ounce, six tenths of an ounce in difference there. Which it doesn't seem, seems like it'd be a lot more. Just this, this feels just super hefty. All right, let me know what you think down there below. Oh, I was going to do the 8015 too. Let's check that out real quick. I think the 8015 is going to be a little more similar in hand to the Engage than the 8010. That's a great knife too, guys. This is three different locks. Did you realize that? These are all three different locks. Very cool. Of course, two of them being Andrew Demko and then one being the new Atlas lock. So it's the same kind of idea, I think, is what you're looking at. The thickness is, is similar here on the 80, 80 uh, 15. But the thickness is, is is closer. I mean, the length is, is a little bit the same as far as how long it is in that butt. And yeah, it's just, it's just the same, same idea. You're just getting that extra straight back instead of that swoop down. Oh man, this one feels good too. But I do, I like the way the engage feels better. If I had to go and the way it feels, and I think I'll go this way. I'll go 80 10, engage, and 80 15. I mean, this feels great though. It's just awesome. If you don't have an 80 15, well, you need one. You need one of all these knives. I mean, look at the S35 VN steel. Just good stuff. Great blades, great locks. Three different locks. This is such a cool setup. All right, let me know what you think. Which one do you be all three? This really kind of got into these two. We'll look at the weight on this one just for, for the sake of it. So the weight on the AD15 and the Engage are just about the same. Yeah, you can feel it. They're just about the same, which is just great blades. So you can tell the difference, in, especially in the cutting edge of the blades, as far as what kind of length you're getting on the 8015 and the, and the 8010, as opposed to the Engage. But all amazing knives, just amazing. A great, great knife, great outdoor knife, great EDC, if you don't mind a little bit. Just a little bit of heft in your pocket, especially with the 8010. All right. Let me know what you think. Which one would you choose? Which one would you want to pick up? I think they're eventually going to be really close in price. This right now is, is a little bit more expensive than these two. But I would say by next year, 
the next 10 months, you're going to be picking these up for the same deal. So if you got to pay the same amount of money, which one of these are you going to get? Give me a one, two, three down there. All right. And I'll talk to you later.